Hello. In this demo, I'm going to walk through installing GFI Help Desk and some of the system requirements for the GFI Help Desk product. GFI Help Desk has three main system requirements. First is a web server. GFI Help Desk is a web based application, so we need to be able to host that web application. The web server can be, for example, IIS on a Windows server. That can be Apache or other web server applications that are available. Second, we need a database. GFI Help Desk supports MySQL and MariaDB. Third, we need to have the web scripting language PHP. That will give us the web coding we need to run the application. In addition, we have these system requirements. At least 2 GHz CPU or better, 20 GB of hard drive space, 2 GB of RAM dedicated to the product. GFI Help Desk supports numerous operating systems, Windows servers, and Windows workstations, as long as we have that web server capability installed. It also supports Linux machines, Red Hat, CentOS, Ubuntu, and Debian. Let's get started. Right now, I'm installing on a Windows 2012 R2 server. The first thing I want to do is make sure I have a web server installed and make sure that I have either MySQL or MariaDB installed, and make sure that I have PHP installed. I have those three things already, and they are through XAMPP. If you're not familiar with XAMPP, it is a tool for web hosting. It combines many different types of tools. You can see we have Apache here and MySQL, and we also have PHP. This is already started, so we're good to go. Next, we want to go to our Help Desk download. GFI Help Desk downloads as a compressed file. We will extract our Help Desk files. So now we have a new folder, and we have all of our GFI Help Desk files in this folder. We want to move these files into the root directory of our web server. In my case, it's going to be on my C drive, and it is in XAMPP, htdocs. This location can vary depending on what web server you're using and personal storage preferences. I want to give this a subfolder. All these files you see here are web pages. You could go in your browser to localhost slash dashboard, and that would get you to the XAMPP dashboard, for example. We want to create a web page to house our help desk files. I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to name that folder support. Now I'm going to take all of my files from my GFI help desk extraction and drop those files into my newly created support location. Okay, now that our files are in here, I want to configure our database. In my case, I'm using MySQL, and I can access that easily by just going into my PHP administration dashboard. Now, you'll see I'm in my dashboard, and I can see MySQL, and I have a few other databases. I want to create a new database for my GFI help desk product. You can do this in a couple of different ways but I'm going to use a script that is already pre-made. The script is readily available as well. I'll take my script, the script is creating a database named GFI Help Desk, assigning a particular character set to that database and then adding a user and creating a password for that user to access the database. I press go here. And now that database is created. You can see that GFI Help Desk is right here, and we can see in user accounts, My Help Desk user is also created. So now I want to make sure that inside my GFI Help Desk configuration, these same fields match. 
So I go into my GFI help desk location inside of my web server and I come into this folder name Swift and then config. Now I see a file named config.php.new. What I want to do first is remove the .new. And now I am able to configure this config.php file. So I want to go and open it in my favorite text editor. And you see I have a number of things I have to define. I can define my database host name, my database username, password, and the name of the database itself. I'm only going to make a couple of changes in here because my user is already named GFI Help Desk User and my databases are already named GFI Help Desk. I can keep this the same, but for the sake of maintaining uniformity, I will change this to localhost. And then I'm going to enter my Help Desk user password here. And that's it for this config file. I'm going to save and close out of that config file. Now in my PHP config file, I want to do a couple of things as well. I can access my PHP here through my XAMPP control panel. Now your results are going to vary with this. It's going to depend on the web server you're using and how you access PHP. But in my case, this is how I access PHP. There are a couple of settings in here that I want to change for my GFI Help Desk configuration. I want to change my max execution time. It is defaulted to 120. I want to change that to 600. Max input time. This is set to 60. I want it to be set to 600. There's one more that we want to change. That is the temp directory. Right now it is sitting as my XAMPP directory. I want to make this the Windows temp directory. And then by default, the rest of the settings should be fine. Now I'm going to save and close this file. Now, I want to do one more thing. I need to take my key, that is a key.php product file, and I'm going to move this file into the root directory of my web server. I'll put it right here, inside that root support folder. Once I've done this, I can open up a browser and go here, localhost slash support slash setup. Now we're ready to set the product up. Follow the typical dialogues. Click next. Put in your password and credentials. Now the setup is going through its own process. Call the auto setup as you can see. It's provisioning everything. It's installing all the components that need to be installed. It won't take very long, about 60 seconds. And now the setup is done. We can see we're at the done screen. Then we're given our URLs where we can access different portions of the product. We can access the admin control panel, the staff control panel by going here, and the support center by going here. One note that we want to take is that we must remove the setup directory from the root installation directory. This is definitely a required step. So we have to go back into our root directory of support and we see this setup folder. And I just delete it and that's it. Now we can go and we can do our administration in the product. I'm going to open the admin control panel.
And here we are. We've installed GFI Help Desk, and now we're able to support our customers.